there's just no way of getting around it. Meta had an awful year last year. The company's rebranding effort from Facebook to Meta and the new focus on building the metaverse excited investors at first. But that excitement faded fast when the company released its metaverse app called Horizon Worlds. It then quickly became clear that barely anyone was using Horizon Worlds, and the feedback on it was almost universally negative. Meta was also burning through tons of cash on their R&D investments in the metaverse, as they spent billions of dollars in research. These issues caused Meta's stock to lose over half of its value, and the company ended up laying off 13% of its global workforce to try and get their spending under control. So after a terrible year like this, you might be wondering, what is Meta's plan to get the company back on track and right the ship? Well, if you're Mark Zuckerberg, it looks like the answer is to draw inspiration from the only social media company that may have had an even worse year than Meta did, and that company would be Twitter. Meta is deciding to essentially copy Twitter's infamous Twitter Blue subscription model that was introduced last year. For those that don't know, Twitter Blue allows subscribers to pay a monthly fee to have their Twitter account verified with a blue check mark, along with access to a few other premium features on the platform. It was a very controversial move when Twitter did it, and they got a ton of backlash for it. But apparently Meta saw all of the Twitter Blue controversy and thought to themselves that they needed to get in on the action, and that it would be a great idea to do the same thing with Facebook and Instagram. So on February 19th, Meta announced to everyone's surprise that it would be introducing a new subscription service called Meta Verified, and that they were currently testing the subscription before rolling it out globally. Right now, Meta Verified is only available in Australia and New Zealand, but it is supposed to be launching in more countries soon in the coming months. The main perk of the Meta Verified subscription is that you will get a blue verification checkmark next to your account name on Facebook and Instagram to make your account look more official after going through a verification process. These verification steps require you to provide a government issued ID to confirm your identity before you will be approved for Meta Verified. And once your account is verified, you won't be allowed to change the profile name, username, date of birth, or photo on your profile without going through the entire verification application process again. Once you go through all of these steps, you'll get a blue check mark next to your name to show that you are a verified account. Subscribers also have increased visibility on the platform, direct access to company support, increased security features, and access to some exclusive stickers. Meta Verified will cost $14.99 a month on iOS and Android, and will cost $11.99 a month to purchase on the web, which is pretty expensive for what you're getting. But here's the kicker. One subscription won't even cover both Facebook and Instagram. In order to get verified on both platforms, you have to buy separate subscriptions for each platform, which could cost you around $30 a month. Frankly, I think the price is outrageous for the relatively small number of benefits you actually get. You might as well be donating your money to Meta. In addition, because the verification system requires you to verify your identity using a government-issued ID, anyone that subscribes is now giving Facebook and Instagram even more personal information. And I shouldn't need to remind you that Facebook and Instagram aren't known for being privacy-friendly. These social media platforms make their money by sharing your information with advertisers so that they can target you with ads based on your information. Many people have been critical about the Meta Verified subscription for many different reasons. Among the most prominent criticisms are that Meta is basically putting priority customer support and security features behind a paywall. In the past, functionality like this was accessible by anyone but now it's essentially being limited to only subscribers. A big part of the reason Meta is likely rolling out this subscription service is because their advertising revenue has been struggling in recent quarters. One of the major reasons for this is that Apple released iOS version 14.5, which changed the iPhone's default privacy settings so that users would be opted out of data sharing by default with apps. This made it so that Apple iOS users by default wouldn't have any of their data shared with Facebook unless they explicitly agreed to share it. 
This change instantly destroyed a lot of the ad targeting capabilities Facebook's advertising buyers had relied on for years. Facebook said that this one change from Apple would result in a roughly $10 billion hit to its revenue in 2022, which is a massive impact. In addition, many companies have been cutting costs with their advertising budgets to prepare for a potential recession. This has had a massive impact on Meta's revenue, because despite the rebranding and new focus on the metaverse, the real money maker for Meta has always been advertising, and it will continue to be advertising for the foreseeable future. In their earnings report for the last quarter of 2022, advertising made up over 97% of Meta's total revenue for the quarter. The company is also facing a more existential crisis at its core because it's been struggling to grow its platform user base in recent years with the younger generation, which could jeopardize its advertising business even further. After all, advertisers aren't going to spend as much on a platform if people start to use it less. Facebook's platform has been losing ground in terms of younger users to trendier competitors like TikTok and Snapchat. In a Pew Research study that came out in August of 2022, Data showed that the percentage of U.S. teens that said that they used Facebook plummeted from 71% in 2014 and 2015 to just 32% in 2022. Meanwhile, 67% of U.S. teens said that they used TikTok, and 59% said that they used Snapchat. The struggle that Facebook has been having to attract young people to their platform is a major concern for the company as it's hard to grow active users without this demographic, and that threatens their advertising business. So this meta-verified subscription service seems to be an attempt to further monetize their existing user base, and to diversify their revenue away from the advertising business the company relies on so heavily. The jury's still out, though, on whether meta-verified will contribute in any meaningful way to the company's revenues in the future. I personally am very skeptical that many Facebook and Instagram users will end up using it, since it's a pretty expensive offering for relatively little benefit, but only time will tell where it goes. But be sure to let me know your thoughts on Meta Verified in the comments below, and subscribe to the channel for more finance content. Thanks.